That's the sound of South America, we're coming. Ah, no, no. What do you do? It's the... What would you do, right? Yeah, what, what would, would you, you do? do? <laughs> we are Nick and Mathilde. And in 2022, we left everything behind to travel the world with our Land Rover Defender. Europe, the Americas, Australia, Asia and Africa. We want to see it all. This is day 413 and we're in Colombia. Welcome to the next Meridian Expedition. Welcome to... Cartagena! The city is beautiful but it's boiling hot. Nick removed his long sleeves and trousers from this morning at the port. How was it at the port? Last week, we crossed from Panama to Colombia. We are heading for an adventure we will not forget soon. The northernmost point of the South American continent. But for that, we need to get our car back. And we just heard it arrived at the port. Let's go get it! The beast is finally out and in Colombia, breathing the South American air. Nice. Albo turned on right away. I don't think there's any mold, so that's perfect. Because we had these prepared and they were actually full of water. And so you can see it's finished its job. But I'm gonna leave it here until we get the car out. So excited! Woo! Finally done. Hopefully tomorrow Hopefully we can bring out the car, otherwise it will be Friday. But normally it's tomorrow. Let's hope. There are definitely worse places than Cartagena to be stuck. Founded in the 16th century, the walled city is beautiful, made of squares, cobblestone streets and colorful colonial buildings. But as much as we enjoyed it, our feet were hitching to get back on the road. But luckily, already the next morning... Woohoo! We're out of the port! And very soon we will be on the streets of South America. All right, off we go. Time to pack up the car. We are officially all packed up, ready for South America. Let's start. Let's start. Mm. So can you imagine right now, it's the first time, apart from the port obviously, that we open up a cross on the South American continent that we're going to turn the key of the ignition Are you ready? Mm -hmm. That's the sound of South America, we're coming Woo! Off we go! Next up, the northernmost point of the South American continent. At this stage, we barely know anything about Colombia and we embark on a 700 km journey to a location that will be testing our endurance, navigation skills, negotiation skills, but that will also reward us in so many ways. Through this first day of driving, we get an amazing demonstration of Colombia's hospitality, as we park for the night, a man called Bienvenido, that you can translate by welcome, offers us mangoes, invites us to eat with him, and brings us to watch the sunset above his house. We really feel Bienvenidos so far in Colombia. I'm super excited and... Super excited too! Okay, we're super excited because we get to use our little water for brushing your teeth. We got the little fan here waiting for us. We got the new thing here for, you know, when it was raining. We got Mathilde looking great with our new PJs. It's just our first night since we got Elbow back. It's been two weeks and a half. Tomorrow we go all the way to the top of Colombia to Punta Gallina, which is like the desert. And it is the tip, tip, tip of Colombia. 
And every time we told a Colombian we're going there, they're like, oh man, that's pretty cool. And so... And it's more than just the tip of Colombia. What it's is the it? northernmost point of the South American continent. There you go. Hello one. Hello two. Thank it. Nick. <laughs> Good night and tomorrow, Punta Gainas. Now we are the next morning and we're picking up Rafa in the Defender and we're bringing him down the valley to Santa Marta. So there we go. Friends of friends are our friends and we're all together now. So we're going to bring him down. <laughs> okay, ciao. Gracias. No, sí. Eh, yo trabajo acá con Gabriel. Ajá. Entonces, te, eh, no quería que bajara porque tiene unos trabajos que hacer, pero entonces... Usted sabe que uno también tiene la obligación de la casa sí. y tengo que pagar los servicios de la casa, bueno. Y me llamó la señora, mi hijo, véngase porque el gas lo cortaron porque... Oh no. Entonces hay que ir a arreglar ese... Sí, <risa> ok. Sí, sí, claro. Entonces, Yo soy Nico. Nico. Sí. Ah, qué bien, oiga. Y no, Matilde. No, encantado. Matilde. 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 Encantado. Sí, sí, sí. We drop our new friend Rafael where he needs to be and slowly get closer to our objective. The tropical forests give place to more desertic landscapes. We advance always more north alongside the endless mining railway, sole reminder that this place is actually connected to the rest of the country somehow. It's almost end afternoon on our second day of driving to the northernmost point of the South American continent. And it's been a long day of driving. Very long. The road was really good, but it's getting a bit bumpy now. There's kind of holes in the concrete. So I think today we're going to probably drive another, what, hour? Yeah. Another hour or so. And then the last stretch of road will be for tomorrow. We're really looking forward to getting there. The bumpy road is endless and that evening we struggle to find a place to camp. There are not many roads around and we are not too sure how security is in the region. Luckily, as we start really wondering what to do, we meet again in the police patrol that controlled us just an hour before. Ha perdido. Ah, no, estamos Vamos a ver el dron. Sí, es para una una vuelta con el drone. Ah, okay, sí. dale, dale. Sí. Pero si sabe llegar y todo, ¿no? ¿Eh? Sí si sabe, sabe llegar. llegar. Sí, sabemos cómo ir. Sabemos. Sí, sí. Ah, okay. Un segundo, un segundo. Dale. Aquí do, aparcar aquí no es bueno. No, no. aquí no hay problema en ningún lado. Ajá. Acá no hay problema, no problem. Okay. Eh, no hay no no hay guerrilla no, no hay guerrilla es tranquilo. no hay no hay ladrón si te vas a bajar del carro sube los vidrios sí. asegura todo we eventually settle on a hidden spot in between two cactuses that will do for the night made it to camp made it to camp ah tired that was a long day and it took us longer than expected to actually find a camp spot we didn't quite organize this super well but eventually the police told us that it was safe in the area if we get closer to this town called Cabo so that's what we did we're camping in the middle of Salinas On the next windy morning, the struggles of the day before brought some doubts to us. So we woke up in doubt this morning. Mm. We were thinking, since we're in the northernmost point area, not point, this is where we are right now, the blue dot, the idea is, do we drive all the way to the tip? Which is the actual northernmost point. This is the red dot on the to, map. To get there, it's another five hours of road, almost five and a half, completely uh, through mud and dirt road. The only thing is, there's a lot of roadblocks. So it's, uh, we've heard there's a lot, like 50 roadblocks of kids and adults ho holding up ropes, like we had in Guatemala. And 
for each of them you have to give money, gifts or something. We were wondering, do we need to go through all this driving and all this trouble and all this, you know, effort for saying that we got to the most northern point. I don't think there's only the northernmost point up there, like the dunes are awesome, the off-road will be fun, it looks beautiful on the images. And it would be a challenge, but it will be a fun one. We are next meridian after all. Yeah, that's true. Did we ever say that in one of our YouTube videos? I don't think so. But we did now. <laughs> <laughs> the doubt was real. We had the option to simply go enjoy the beach at the nearby town or endure a harsh day of driving. But we try to always bet on memory and the curiosity to meet with the YU community and discovering the edge of the South American continent was so big we could not resist. And let the off-roading begin! Woo! You need a little cushion under your seat. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm no lady. One thing is to want to drive to a remote place, another is to map a way there. Indeed, the next challenge for us was to find our way. There is not one road to Punta Gainas, but a network of dozens of trails and absolutely no sign at all pointing in the right direction in the middle of the desert. So right now we're going to start the off-road. Um, so we're getting off the main road all the way until Punta Gainas, the northern point here. And in total, it's about 76 kilometers. One thing is good that we have the expertise on using off-road system maps because uh, otherwise we would really get lost. And the second option that we've got is if we're really lost or something, we do have this uh, Garmin satellite phone. So in case something happens to us, then we can always uh, use that. into the mud. So we're just gonna do a little detour but if you look there there's all these car tracks that are just like flipping mud everywhere. Woohoo we found our trail again. Yeah now the next problem is the water. It has a lot of water. these type of roads. Well now we're not even out of here. Almost. But we're not out yet. That is so sticky. And it's actually really heavy. Yeah, it looks like it. Recovery of albatross! Oh, so heavy. The shovel doubled in weight. I'm happy, I have to say, because that doesn't happen to us a lot. I was quite stressed. Nick was like, yeah, we're going to make it. Me, I was like, I don't want to spend three days here. Just one big block 
of mud. I think the tire is about here and all of this is just mud. Ugh. Now we uh, stick to the desert road instead of the random road. Over there, all small, 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 small. The motorbike. It means we're back on the road. The Punta Gainas is here, I can. Okay, carretera, carretera, and then like that. Okay, gracias. Ciao. Ciao, guys. Gracias. The road was not better, but at least we were not running the risk to get stuck again in the middle of the desert, far from any route. But there, on the principal trails, a new challenge awaited us. We are on Wayu people territory. And since several years, with the development of tourism in the region, many families started putting up ropes on the road and claim a peaje, a toll, to open it. We anticipated that would happen, but we had not anticipated the scale of it. but I think we didn't imagine the scale of it. And honestly, if like we were kids in this area, we would just probably do the same thing, or even adults. Like when you see the place, I don't know if it shows in the video, but it's so remote, like people really don't have much in this region. Then you have those visitors coming and just with the big cars and tons of things in it. So yeah, it seems like the logical thing to do. In majority, it's kids who actually pull up a rope, like in this situation. Uh, there's a kid, and Mathilde, usually what she does is she drives very slowly and tries to, you know, sort of force the way through. The way of pushing the rope down, you know, slowly, is, is actually a common rule. Everybody does it because there's no other way. And the kids, usually, they just let go of the rope because they're... They're not playing the tough game, the adults are playing the tough game. And so we need to keep the gifts for the adults uh, in that sense. Life is not easy in the desert. A few goats at best, little houses and remote beaten tracks far from the economic circuits. The Wayu have lived in this region forever and we are amazed on how they manage to live in such an inhospitable landscape. We can see by their ask at the toll that they know how to get basic needs here. What we hear most, coffee, cookies and cash. Things that may seem simple for us, but that do not quite make it so far out in the country, except through the hands of foreigners like us. There are the easy ropes, those which drops even before you ask for it. There are the ones without anyone next to it. It's the do-it-yourself rope. There are the pushy ones that absolutely want cash. It's difficult because 200, 300... No, no, no. There are the familial ropes. Those who put one rope per child. There, we always try to go negotiate directly with the parents. Overall, everyone is polite, everyone is kind. We are two-thirds of the way. It's been a, a long way. It's already five hours that we're on the road. And uh, we had at least... at least 50 of those uh, paying barriers, maybe even more. Uh, but we've only probably paid like 15 of them or 10 of them, so it's not too bad. We've actually tried to save as many for tomorrow on the way back and we'll distribute as much as we can tomorrow and just give it all away because we bought it on specific for this. It's like, you know, what do you do? It, it's the... I don't what know. would you do? Right? Yeah, what, what would, would you, you do? do? <laughs> In comments, 
We're really in a grave zone morally here. What would one do, you know? So as we get closer to Punta Gallinas, the northernmost point, we see less and less people, less and less ropes. The landscapes are as beautiful as they are inhospitable. And finally, far away in the horizon, the ocean again. We made it through. and it's very convenient because at the Faro, the lighthouse, there is an illustration. So this is South America, we are here in Colombia and Punta Gallinas is the northernmost point so you see we're really close to Venezuela, just on the other side. And then this is the map of the peninsula of Punta Gallina uh, with the border with Venezuela and here we are, the Faro de Punta Gallinas. It was very tiring but this is the northernmost point of this continent and it's also the last time we're going to see the Caribbean so it's really 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 good. Around us nothing but this old lighthouse battered by winds or at least we thought so. We had barely popped out our roof open then we see three little new friends showing up at our camp. And they decided to make their own movie when they found our camera. Chichi. Y eso es la película. Sí. De quién? De María. De María. María exiliadora. El cielo se ve. Qué güey. ¿Dónde está María? ¿Ustedes van a la escuela? Sí. Sí. Entonces hoy no hay escuela. Mañana hay. ¿Dónde está la escuela? Mañana es feriado, ¿sí? Feriado. Ah, mañana es feriado. Pero para nosotros hay clase. ¿Hay clase para ustedes? Sí, porque vamos a salir de vacaciones. Hola. 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 ¿Cómo te llamas? María. María. ¿Tú? Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. Henry. 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 Yo me llamo Nico. Yeah. Matilde. <laughs> Henry, Maria and Juan Carlos look like the hundreds of children we drive past all day. But somehow with them we get a chance to stop and exchange more. They explained us how they live and some of their thoughts. Henry, the eldest, is frustrated with tourists giving school supplies that never get to them. Maria's favorite school topic is mathematics. And Juan Carlos' dream is to have a bicycle, but his parents cannot offer it. We are showered with a goodbye to our three little friends. That's the beautiful sunset of the northern point of South America. We are having pasta with tomatoes. Hey, I like this. And it's really good. Anyway, we're going to enjoy the moment because now it's all south. It is time to leave Punta Gallinas. 
We do the road in the other direction. This time we give everything that we've carried all the way. Hola. Okay. Tenemos frutos tropicales. Está bien? Okay. This hard trail is now familiar. Still bumpy, but at least we know where we go. Several hours later, we finally make it back to the main road. We made it out of the whole region of Punta Gallinas. It was a long few days, it was hot and dusty, but we're super happy we made it up north, so northernmost point of the South American continent. It was uh, a Very bit... Very tiring. Yeah, probably a bit harder than what we expected. Also just, you know, emotionally dealing with the ropes and how do we need to behave with the communities that obviously need so much. It's completed. All right, so we start with the most northern point of Colombia. Uh, we're happy to have gone in there. And now the objective is to go to the most southern point in the South America, which would be Ushuaia, Argentina. And obviously this is just one small journey of our whole big journey, which is doing the whole three years all around the world, all seven continents, about 88 countries. Now it's the time to go all the way south and we're hoping by December more or less we're there. But so much happens on the road. We've already gotten four months delay uh, from the very beginning. But uh, let's get there. Bam! Woo! We leave from Punta Gallina super motivated and excited for what comes next in Colombia. A hint, we are going high, very, very high. To make sure you do not miss what's coming up, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you, and until next week, take care. <laughs> Ser el